What's up everybody, this is Andrew from 997 RC Raceway and here is a tour of our entire facility we have here. Um, this is just for new people and also uh, anybody that hasn't seen the changes that we've done, especially the hobby shop. So that is the main hobby shop entrance right there. You can go up that ramp right there to get in um, to the hobby shop when it is open. Um, that door right there, that is off limits. That's actually someone's house. I'm going to leave that alone. Um, down here will be the main entrance for most of uh, you guys to go into your pit spaces and stuff like that. So we'll go right through this door. Right inside here is where our snacks are. So when you want snacks or something like that, um, that would be down here. Um, hot dogs, uh, sausages, and a bunch of just different random snacks that we have. Of course, drinks, as you can see as well. Um, they'll be inside that fridge along with some ice cream too. So if you want some ice cream, that's where you go. Uh, we're gonna go to the off-road side of it first, the off-road pit space area um, that we have, especially for torn Of course, here's the bathrooms as well. Uh, of course, a men's and a women's, so that's where those are. So we'll go down here to the off-road track. Keep renting a space for this. <clears throat> So right inside here is a bunch of pit spaces. I don't know what the numbers are right offhand uh, for what numbers are which spot. Um, you can see accordingly on the website that we have has all of that information. There is spots underneath the dryer stand right there. Uh, again, I don't know what they are number wise, but there is pit spaces underneath that as well. And here's the rest of the off-road track. So we're gonna go back down to where the snack area is and we'll go a different way to the racer's lounge pit space area. <clears throat> That's the bathrooms and then right back to the snack area again. So we'll go right through this way, this is the right side. Again, this door right here is off limits. Again, that is somebody's house, so we wanna stay out of there. So let's go to the racer's lounge. So if you rented a space for the racer's lounge, it'll be down here. Uh, so let's go down here. Pit space is right there. Pit space is right there. Of course, more right there as well. And there's is the main area of the racer's lounge pit space area couch. And then a TV will have uh, the race on it as well. And there is some radios down here that'll actually pick up the exact sound that's coming from the actual track. Uh, so we don't have to worry about that because uh, live RC is always about 30 seconds delayed or something like that. So let's go back this way and we'll go right to the track. We'll go back to the uh, snack area. That way you can see exactly where you have to go. So again, here's the snack area. There's the parking lot. The snack area is right here. Again, all the snacks. So we're going to go back this way again, past the racer's lounge up this ramp <clears throat> sounds like someone's running out here now so he's gonna be on you're gonna be able to see mr sean morris run his mud boss 12 turn mud boss so again this is the track as you can definitely see uh, this is where your tire tour area is right here for the tire tour and out that door actually there's a door a little walkway and another door but it's outside, down the steps, and right into the 997 Cafe. Uh, we got great food, and they'll be open definitely for practice and races as well. So you can see all this snack area right here. Snack area. Pit spaces, sorry. Um, again, numbers, I don't know what they are right offhand, but that is where all those are. So we're going to go into this one. Again, if you got a spot for... I don't know what the numbers are, but this is a pit space down here. This will be underneath where the announcer's booth is. If you rented these spots, they are all down here. So these are all the spots down here if you rented down here. Again, there's a TV in here that you can see lap times, different stuff like that. Uh, of course, you can, you can hear the speaker going off as well. Let's go up where the racer or the booth is. So we'll go up these steps right beside that door we just came from. More pit spaces up here. So again, if you rent it up here for pit spaces, 
Don't worry, all this stuff will be cleared out of here uh, by then. So again, there's the announcers booth. It's right there. And that door down there, again, is off limits. That goes into our warehouse for our other company that we have, uh, the mower shop. So don't need to go in there. Let's go back down the steps. And we're gonna head over to the hobby shop. So the hobby shop is right over there. If you haven't been here before, it's from the truck. Right. So we're gonna go right through this door here. And here is the hobby shop. That is that other door I was talking about when we were outside. You just come right through there and up into here. Um, right here we have all of our servo stuff. So anything servo-wise um, is right here. Not all the servos, but any accessories for servos, servo horns, uh, different stuff like that is right here. That is down to the mower shop. So if you need a mower, there you go. Uh, we'll start right here on the left side. So when you walk in the door, this is where the 118th TRX 4 M's are and all their accessories is and as well the uh, Axial uh, AX24s and there's some STX24s down there as well and these are just the boxes to the bigger cars that are on the right side for all the crawlers so all your crawler stuff is right out here any accessories for the crawlers don't worry there will be more accessories for these in the future and then here's even more accessories right here so that's all right there. Of course, here's the counter. Behind the counter, we have this bunch of your little stuff. Uh, transponders are back there. Of course, you can see the remotes are, are back there as well. We are missing a few. Uh, they'll be in stock here uh, very soon again. So if you need anything back there, come here. And then here's all the, the fast stuff. This is where your SXT and stuff is. This isn't the only spot for it, but that way if you just forget that that's all upstairs. Uh, so your glue, SXT, anything you need to, for the track as well. And as we'll walk through here, this is the main ready to run area, I would say. Um, this is where almost all the, the rest of the Traxxas cars are. So if you need a slash, they are all up there. There's your little, uh, I think they call these, they're 118th, 116th, sorry. Uh, 116th Traxxas E, two E Revos, one's brush, one's brushless, and the Summit. We are missing the 116 slash right now. Um, so all of the arms for any Traxxas car that we carry. Uh, is right here. So some RPM arms as well. All right there. There is, as you can tell, the uh, signs say where the uh, area starts. So shock, steering, so on and so forth uh, as well. Now this is where all the motors and uh, ESCs, whatever you need as far as that. There's batteries in another case I'll show you here. This is the motor ESC case um, from racing batteries to the Traxxas end of it as well so you need an esc or a motor uh, we got you covered right here and then we go into the traxxas right around batteries are in this case so there's anything you need as far as those and then we get into the racing packs uh, as well as the mud boss packs as well are in here as well even though they'll go in traxxas cars but that's okay so they are all right in there and then we get to this last case down in the bottom it is your chargers. These are all the chargers that we have. Uh, Traxxas ProTec, iCharger is in here as well, Spectrum um, as well. And on this side, we have all of our tires for the running run cars. So these will be all the tires for all those. And on this end here is a lot of our mini stuff. So mini B's, uh, mini B's and the mini T's. This is what's on this one. And there is a um, SR10 down there as well. This side right here is the Traxxas side of it. So anything Traxxas that can't fit on that wall, it's not a slash basically, is over here. Um, we are do have Vortex right there. Of course, we're missing a couple right now, but they are coming again. Um, the big X-Max is down there. Um, missing XRT right now, but again, it is on the way. Uh, we got Stampedes on the middle shelf there. We have two Maxes down there and the Sledge. And up top, uh, we have um, more rustlers and then the uh, um, rally car that Traxxas makes and then we got a boat that's the Spartan 
you don't see anything that you want from Traxxas, uh, we can special order it for you and uh, we can bring it in. So on this side, on the opposite side of the Traxxas cars are all the parts again, which is so many parts. I don't even want to be, uh, begin to think how many there actually is on this wall. Again, there's stuff underneath uh, as well, more parts underneath as well. So if you can't find it up top, definitely take a look underneath. And then our used cars, so these are all used cars, um, starting with that Euro truck right there you see. So anything from that side to the right of it is all used cars. Some of these are on consignment, uh, but most of them are ours. So we go down here, of course, we do have a little nitro section um, as well. Uh, these are all drag race bodies, drag car bodies. Um, so if you need anything for drag racing, uh, they're all there as well. And that's where their tires are. Here's our arm section. It definitely has moved. Um, this is our arm part section. And on this side, the other side of the Traxxas cars is the Arma side. This is where all the Arma cars that we have are. So if you need Arma cars, they are all right here. Again, same thing. If you don't see a car that you want, we can definitely special order it for you. This is where all of our uh, battery ends, any connectors that you need um, are on this side as well. So if you need any of those, that's where those are. Take you back out here. We're gonna go upstairs. We're gonna see what we got there. So again, just come through the either door and you're gonna go right up here. Through these. Again, this door is actually off limits. This is where all the employees, uh, that's even more space for employees and stuff like that. So we're gonna go the whole way up the steps. As soon as we get up the steps, this is where the tool section is. So if you need tool, protect, putty, uh, anything you need as far as tools is gonna to be right here. Let me zoom out a little bit. There we go, now you can see the whole thing. This is our techno section. So any techno parts you need are right there. If you go straight back from the steps is where all the tires are. This is anything racing wide tires um, from off-road to oval to whatever you're running as far as uh, racing tires go. A lot of J Concepts, Proline, uh, Schumacher as well. And right beside the tires is our oval section for up here. This Custom Works is right there, as you can see. And then this is a lot of the bodies for our oval cars. Uh, again, more stuff's always coming in almost every day. So if you don't see something, we'll probably have it very soon. As far as oils go, they're all right here. So most of it, most people like the honey stuff. So that's what we keep in the most. Uh, so if you need any oils, but we pretty much have anything from thousand to I think we have a million, maybe 500,000. There's a million down there. So we do have a million uh, if you need a million uh, diff weight. Opposite side of the custom work section is some of the off-road bodies. Just ones that don't fit up there. So there's some bodies there. That's for mini B section right there. More bodies there hung the whole way down. They are in sections. So just check out the sections um, if you need. This is our t-shirt section. So if you want a t-shirt, um, not just 997 t-shirts, but there are also some Technos, TLR. I'm not sure what else is in there. There's a bunch of different t-shirts, but most of it's our 997 t-shirts. Then we have our TLR and this different, uh, this different car uh, kits. Um, TLR associated, there's Schumacher in there as well. So if you need any of those kits, they're right there. Keep on this side. Here's all the associated parts. So if you need anything associated, they're here. Go down the line, there's TLR, there's more TLR parts, and then the Schumacher, that's where all the Schumacher parts are. So back to where about the t-shirts are, we'll go underneath here. Uh, this is where the spurs and pinions are for the racing cars. They are all underneath there. So if you need spurs, pinions, 64 uh, pitch and 48, I don't think we have any 32s down there. So uh, 64 and 48 pitch are all down there. And then here's some RW, It'll be your pan car and touring car uh, spurs are all down there and RJ speed and a lot of these, this is where most of the oval parts are, are down here um, for whatever your oval needs are, are right down there and then this wall here is a lot of the oval tires and the on-road tires so the other wall was all off-road tires this is the uh, carpet oval I should say there was dirt oval over there but this is where the carpet oval and on-road tires are so if you need any of those they're right there then on the other side, 
Oh, the Schumacher parts. This is, we got some different ones over here. We got Express, new brand to us. Um, happy to have them on board. We have Exotech is over here as well, and Mugen for the touring cars. And then this wall is all the X-Ray uh, parts uh, for all the cars. So we got all the car, car kits up there, and then of course all the parts are down here. Uh, if you need a setup station, they're all down here. I think these are all the off-road ones. Oh, there's a Formula One up there right now. Gordon, we are, we just ordered a Pan Car one, so that'll be here sometime this week. As far as a hoodie, I think there is an Aero Max one here for a Pan Car as well. Then we have the um, hardware section is right here. Um, so the hardware section, there's some all the techno. Uh, they're all metric. Uh, hardware right there and on the other side of that is even more hardware these are all the Traxxas ones uh, they're all metric as well and then there's some more hardware right there there's a bunch of different there's pins and everything like that and here's some weights let's go back out here that way you can see everything more RJ speed cars right there and then here is the if you were up here and you need an SXT, this is where it is. This is where more of it is, like I said, down earlier. Um, this is where all of that is. Uh, and there's some, some towels down there as well uh, for that. So we got Simple Green, uh, Protect True Wash, and we have uh, Race Ready, uh, TQ Clean as well, Shine, on the little bottles there, down there. And then the other side of that is zip kicker and some more glue and thread lock and there's actually a tire warmer for on road cars down here and then there's paint so we have we started getting duratrax paint as well so that's mixed in there with the spastic and on this side is the traxxas paint so any paint that you need um, is in this section let's go back downstairs to wrap this up of course if you've got any questions don't be afraid to let us know where something is Definitely pointing in the right direction. Uh, so we walk down the steps again. It's actually really cold up here. That's why we have these flaps. <laughs> it's like night and day walking through. I did forget this section right here. This is where the uh, servos are, the, the non tractor servos basically. Uh, so there's Protec, Savox, uh, Reefs, uh, KO Propo are all inside this case here, right by this door. So again, if you have any questions, let us know. We look forward to seeing you all.